In the United States, there are approximately 280,000 women diagnosed with breast cancer annually. And about 50 to 60 percent of them will receive radiation as part of their care. And when women go through it, they have a, understandably a lot of anxiety going through treatment and having x-ray therapy for the treatment of their breast cancer. But some of the most common side effects are behavioral ones, such as fatigue, depression, stress, and anxiety. And when we look at our own studies, we find that in the long run, up to 30% of women in the long run, several months to years after their treatment, will continue to suffer from fatigue, treatment fatigue that was brought on by the treatment itself, the very same treatment that was designed to cure them. When these women develop these debilitating side effects, it can have marked effect on their ability to relate to important members of their family, uh, their ability to perform jobs, um, and so many women often will even go on disability because the side effects are so prevalent and so debilitating. From our studies, we're seeing that there's actually a biological reason for why they are feeling fatigued in the long run. We think it has to do with inflammation. Inflammation is the body's normal response to any injury that could happen. It's very much like chronic fatigue, particularly in the women who receive chemotherapy. Um, many of them say they can't get up in the morning like they normally would. They can't prepare the meals for their children. They can't show up at work without feeling like they're walking around in a fog. Um, a lot of women say they can't process information as quickly as they could before. What we think is happening is that chemotherapy is altering the DNA. The DNA is the body's blueprint of forming proteins and how the body actually functions. It's all based on the DNA, which is the master coding um, of the human body. And so what we notice and what we see is that women who receive chemotherapy have permanent changes in the way their DNA is modified. And what that leads to is a chronic inflammatory response. Proteins are then released, which access the brain and cause chronic fatigue. In two-thirds of women, however, the changes that happen in the DNA can be altered and reversed. So what we're trying to do is figure out who are these women suffering with these chronic problems and what we can do to reverse what is being caused by the chemotherapy itself.